fine sunshine coming to you with i'm being nosy today i feel like tmz <laughs> i want to investigate uh yesterday's guy i want to have an interview with a friend or somebody so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask um i'm gonna ask the cards here let's talk let's say you know one of them good guy friends that's hanging around with him so i think i want to kind of investigate and talk to the friend and see what's going on that came to me this morning i sound nosy uh here uh so i'm gonna ask what kind of guy this is that's gonna come and uh appear here so let's talk to i want to talk to some some masculine energy here maybe a mom might talk to a woman that's here but let's talk to him. Maybe you may or may not know this. Who is this I'm talking to? That's just his friend. Ooh, oh, snap. <laughs> this started off. This, this going to be good, people. This person's got, a, it feels like they are, they acting like they're a friend, but they said they're a rival. This came out of here. They're jealous of the divine masculine. This person is attached to their manhood acts very absurd and believes they they're the in my Jill Scott's voice I'm the shit <laughs> man if the divine masculine is hanging out with people that's like that no wonder there is no semi hope <laughs> yeah there's always hope because when spirit is there it is so we talk to a friend that's like this so we're gonna get the viewpoint from them about what's going on with the divine masculine oh snap <laughs> Okay, 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 all right. Oh, I'm getting excited, y'all. Clarified by this person's understanding that they got to work with being conscious. They operate without a conscious. This came out. And, stop, they say they act like they are the conscious for the divine masculine, but at the same time, they're competitive. Man, with friends like that, who needs enemies? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me um say, uh, hi, Mabel, love, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to come and talk to me and give me some insight about the Divine Master. You say, no, he's your boy. Yeah, but if you're jealous at the same time, I don't know how much of that is uh, that, but I'm going to ask your whole viewpoint about the whole situation that he's in uh person here uh i said put it up too soon say okay let me see so what do you think that this divine masculine needs to kind of work on let me ask you what do you think that will be him because even you know what like they say even your enemies know you and sometimes they can see where you need to be going clear so what do you think that the divine masculine needs to be working on these two kind of caught my eye. Says he sees him as being a narcissist. And he said he needs to work on self-love and being more gentle. Mm. Says that he see him kind of like a person that's always shooting off at the mouth and, and speaking his mind. But he kind of like really, okay, you keep on coming this way. Okay, this one, I don't know what's happening. You can't see on the scenes, but something keeps drawing it. Like it's an energy that keeps pulling this card off of the rest of the deck. Now, everybody else ain't sliding, but that one. And this one, too, is sliding. Which lets me know they're, they're moving it. So, he needs to take action. This is it, because this is a moving card. You kept on seeing that right there. It's moving. It, move, it keeps moving it. So this needs to be taking action. They said he believes that he needs to take action. I'm also I'm talking to this person. Say he needs to practice more self love. He needs to be more gentle with his words, with his actions. Say he even look at him and be like, "Damn man, you said that. You look kind of cut though, even for me." <laughs> and hell, I'm observing, thinking I'm the shit. <laughs> Thank you, Ralphie and Michael, both of y'all. High five. So they're like, mm. so he also sees that he has he has very great strength and intellect, and he's very important. This is what the friend says it, but he needs to take action. He say he need to take action in the right direction. What else you want to tell me about him? 
And he needs to get orientated with the bottom line. <laughs> I hear him saying, I know I'm an asshole, but you, you ain't one. <laughs> you know, it's some movies out there. You've seen it like with two guys together and them sis, like, you know, and they trying to act like they part of them and they like, uh-uh, uh, you, you, you not, you, you not down with me. You just playing, I'm, you, you playing the role. This I do for life. <laughs> this is what I'm picking up. So this friend is, he's jealous. He's a competitive, but he says some kind of way with him, he thinks he moves with a conscious. He acts as if he's the conscious of the divine masculine, too. Wow. I would like to ask who the hell that is on my end, too. Uh, <laughs> wait, like, hmm? I thought you ain't had no friend. Okay, be wild. I'm telling too much about his, his stuff. So what's the heart of the matter that's going on with your friend? Let me talk to you since I got you here. And, and you're willing to talk, and I thank you on that one. Clear. So what's the heart of the matter with him? Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and passion. Right now for this coming reverse, I usually don't read reverses, but this person is telling me, say, read it as a reverse, which is saying to him that uh, it seems like He's not passionate about where he's at, and he needs to grow true passion about some things. He's like, whatever is the passion that he's doing, it's like fake passion. It's like bootleg passion. It's not, it's not authentic. Even he knows it. It's like I see him kind of like forcing himself to uh, actually, uh, you know, do things. Uh, and I see him acting like he's really passionate about something, but I know he's that like he's faking the funk. Okay. So he's saying in order for him to have, uh, he's doing this, acting like he's in passion because it's in order to, for him to have a leg up on the situation. To have brute force. He's understanding that. But he's also understanding this is twofold, two layering. That understanding that in order for him to have true passion and really understanding what's to really be passionate about something, that's, he said, I'm going to see him be able to kind of like level up. So, you know, if he really become passionate about that thing, then he going to really be able to level up on things because right now he's just faking it. Uh, he also says, although this person says he sees him as being very highly intelligent, he has great strength and importance. He says in some ways he kind of even look up to him, you know, although he says competition in my mind. But at the same time, I know I am jealous and envious of him, but I know that, and I'm talking to him at the same time, you know, if you're jealous and envious about something, that means you too are able to do it. It shouldn't be no jealousy on it. And he's like, I know. He said, but still, I am jealous and envious because that's just all I know. That's just the way I grew up. That's how we was in the neighborhood or in my community of how we are in society. That's it. I feel that him striving is showing me like crabs in a the barrel. They, they, it's that mentality. It's like if you get up, then what happens with me? So I drag you back down because then, you know, I want you to stay on the level. Not knowing that I'm showing you just like Daniel Boone said, if I get out the barrel, maybe I might turn back around and throw you a ladder so that'll help you to get out of that mentality. You know, this person, this divine masculine that you're talking about, and I know his heart, and I know the divine masculine's heart. Like I say, he is gentle. He will be the type of person that say, if I got it, I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to make sure you got it too. Like You know, you heard some of them say, if I eat, you going to eat. You know, so it's that kind of mentality. But he's like, yeah, I know, but I ain't quite there yet. Okay, I understand. I'm trying to preach to you. So... In order for him to be able to get this passion, he even said that would help him to move to be able to discover things about himself. And it would really open up a treasure chest and some things that he hadn't discovered about himself emotionally. Although it's moving kind of slow, but he will be able to open that up. He says that he understands that emotionally he's got to move into that position of understanding that, you know, him truly being happy. Is something that's going to unlock him. 
And he said he knows this instinctively, didn't know what it is, but it's something out there other than where he's at currently in this situation that seems like it's got the, the key to unlock him. That's going to help him to truly be able to balance himself. Because right now he's like, you know, where he's at, he's not got a lot of things to celebrate. He's acting like he's passionate about stuff, but he's not really passionate. And so he's like, to me, he's like, since I'm talking to him, he knows who I am, I'm talking to him, high self. He's like, it's the divine feminine that's going to help him to be able to have him things to celebrate. But right now, you know, he's kind of tossed to see emotionally. And that's why he say he ain't got no true passion about stuff. So when he gets this, he feels that this divine feminine is going to help to give him purpose. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm hear me, I'm saying, I'm jealous, but I'm not jealous enough to know I know the difference, you know, that I know on some kind of level that, you know, you know, I kind of want more for my boy, but at the same time, you know, I know that's just fear, you know, just want him to be in the comfort zone, you know, right now. But, you know, I'm talking in between higher self and 3D self, so we bouncing in between with this person that I'm tapping into. Is that I know it's better. He shouldn't be that way, but my 3D self is like, no, nah, keep him locked down like a crab in the barrel. He stayed out here with us, you know, and then we ain't got to excel, you know, so we just stayed the way we are, you know. So, again, but he understands if he really finds his passion, then he's going to actually uh, be able to breathe because he ain't been able to breathe. He ain't been able to excel uh, right where he's at right now. So, you know, uh, excel also, inhale, exhale, like exhale too, like he's going to be able to go higher too in this situation. Okay. So, Okay, well, that, you went kind of deep there, brother. You get, you got a conscience. Yeah, I feel like he's like, oh, Jesus. Well, I wish it was a movie that you, that it is like it's got somebody hanging with his nemesis. And you like, is they their friend or they foe? Damn. It could be like Morpheus a little bit with Neo. It's like, is he working with him? Or is he, you know, somebody like a hard taskmaster, but at the same time, I don't know if that's a good one. Like competition, though. I wish you would bring to me. Drop some things down in the comments, too, about some things that people that's hanging together. And you're like, okay, is that the friend or they driving them? What kind of... It's almost like if I seen in Warrior Nun. Uh, like at the end, if you seen Warrior Nun, that nun that it, it got taken... Yeah, um, had, um, had, 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 uh, uh, at the end, she was competition because she believed that she was the one that's supposed to have the halo ring. You have to watch it. And then when it came down to it, you know, she got taken away with the underworld, the, the devil and the demon. And then when it came down to it, everybody was kind of telling her she didn't, I guess, the good child told her she didn't have no heart. But then when it came down that she really wanted to protect and be there for the for the uh, main character that was the warrior nun. But at the same time, you're like, is she with her or she ain't with her? Because, you know, this girl, uh, uh, the, uh, she was fighting the other lady who was trying to protect her. And it's like, okay, I'm confused. Is she enemy or is she actual part of the warrior nun army? I'm confused. You have to see the warrior and honesty. So this is what this 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 friend is. He resonates on that energy. It's like we competition, but I'm here to protect them too. I'm like as conscious, but at the same time, you know, some things I do that might could kind of throw him out there. No shade, but they're shade. <laughs> I'm like, what? So he understand when he look at this situation, it's like really a coming together. Three of wands. This, so, okay, in some ways, this guy feel like he's helping the divine masculine. Like, I'm helping him to really be able to have this victory or have this thing here. Let me see here. You think you helping? Well, she thought she was helping, too, because she's like, she ain't ready to have the daggone. She ain't ready to, to, to be no warrior, none. She ain't one of us. <laughs> like, okay. 
So in her mind, she thought she was helping. Let me see this. This three of one. I'm going to see if it's other things here. Oh, my God. This is some interesting stuff here. Yeah, sleeping with the enemy here. Okay. Yeah, it's a tell them channel because I can't even remember. Well, I had a title for it. It'll come to begin. Three of Wands, Exploration, Discovery, Plans for the Future. He, 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 he. He feels several things that the Divine Master got some plans for the future, but he also feels in some ways like he's helping with it. Because this is interesting. It's like, you know, he's like the dark side. This is the Divine Masculine. This is the Divine Feminine. I keep on picking that up when I got that on this here. But we also got Mother of Swords here. Uh... And he knows that he's really dealing with this, with you got the karmic kid, that this is a master manipulator. Thank you, Archangel Raphael and Michael. He knows that. He see, he see this karmic, this person here that is talking about that guy, and they say, he sees her like, damn, this is the divine masculine. He always got him up there serving uh, somebody head on the platter. He's sacrificing himself. I hear self-sabotaging, self this, and that's why he said he needs to move in an area of having self-love. Because he see like the car, she just be sitting there and just like, you know, just eating off the spoils. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, she ain't doing nothing but call herself looking cute and all that stuff. I ain't doing daily squat to help him, help my man out. <laughs> That's what he said. He ain't, she ain't even trying to help my man out. He said he knows he got the four wands here. Okay. So he does understand that the, the... He feels that, again, with the divine feminine, he does know that this other person, that he may or may not know anything about it from his best friend, his BFF here so-called somebody hang out with here uh knows that there is this feminine that knows how to self-love herself she's more in her power knows how to nurture others is in the driver's seat really be able to create the force of going back and forth in a relationship so again she's aware she has intuition she's in the role of of being able to show the way as well because the light is in front of and the divine masculine just being able to throw him in that energies of being gentle uh, being able to receive help with the flow of the relationship he's gaining knowledge too as well he knows this 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 masculine here has sensed that uh, again like you say this passion that is something it's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's got to do with the divine feminine. Now, what he sees about this connection, this is his higher self talking. Because he, in higher self, you know, higher selves know everything. They ain't around there walking around being too much dummies <laughs> about the situation. Like, I know, I already know. You ain't got to tell me. So it's higher self. Make it clear and make it plain, please. Look like these three. Thank you. Got my heart chakra activated. Like, I see my man trying to move into his heart. And when it comes to this woman, he talking about, thank you, Archangel Raphael and Michael. You know, I can tell he all in her and stuff. You know, like, he won't think of that. Like, he want to start, like, a new chapter. Something about her, she helped to balance, like, the light and the dark within her as well. Uh, she looks like, the, in some way, it, she pleases him. She gives him pleasure. I see that also as well when it comes to the connection with the divine feminine. I see him being very relaxed. I see uh, them spending time with each other. He likes that how he nurtures her. Uh, they really are intimate with each other. They know each other. They're extremely close. 
he helped to keep her open as well. Uh, with them together, they able to just really lie in their own strength and their power and their identity or who they are by being together. Uh, they know how to communicate. They're comfortable with the way they communicate with each other. I see that. Uh, and then also the next thing I see also with them too is, you know, she is very comfortable lying in her own confident, confidence and, and, and confident in who she is. He's also finding ways to be nurtured by her. She he stays open to him. Uh, he also helps ways to make sure that he get his needs met. He still keeps her open. He helps to balance the relationship, you know, and he knows how to put that sword down. Because I said with him, sometimes he acts as if he a little too, um, he acts kind of like he narcissistic. But see, I know he's smart and I know he's got great intelligence and I know that he's really important and he be trying to, you know, sometimes fake how gentle he is, you know, but I know that he is gentle uh, at the same time. And it looks like with her, he's allowed to be gentle. He puts his sword down. He don't have that barrier up, them boundaries up like he usually do, you know, on that. And she helps him to take action. And she helps him to really see, like, the, the, the bottom line of things like that, unlike where he at right now with this situation. So, okay, so I'm going to ask you, how do you feel? How do you feel? What What do you think about the situation that he's currently in? Because we're going to talk about it. We're going into the karmic energies now. What you think is, what you think about the situation that he's currently in with this relationship? Come on now, y'all I was about to say, you didn't already been crying like a canary. Let's not even, let's not get quiet now. <laughs> it's out now. So, come on. So, okay, so now like when... I look at the situation between him and this person that he it with right now. Oh, hell no. Okay. All right. When I look at the, okay, I'm 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 gonna tell I'm gonna tell you the truth about what I see, okay? Okay. First of all, I know in the relationship that my man is in, like right now like dude is abusive, okay? Both of them they very violent with each other. Uh, not abusive, it'd be like a lot of fights, a lot of arguments like that, you know, sometimes, and sometimes she the one that started, uh, sometimes I feel like, you know, he might feel like he got grabbed hold of her and just shake it. Now, it's not like abusive, like it's really knocked down, but they didn't came very close, uh, to it. So it's, it's a very abusive, uh, relationship that he's in right now. So it's either, it's because it's a manipulation, like I said earlier, that's going on. And again, I see that it's very, it's not good. It's toxic. Okay. Uh, I definitely see that. Uh, I definitely see that, uh, even in the emotional with him, um, sometimes it seems like he's calling this ugliness or this beast, uh, forward in his emotions here when he really should be telling it to just like kiss off, just forget it. But it seems like to me, like he taunts it. And he calls in these situations in instead of like, so it's like, he like, he like the drama, you know, it's like, you know, I'd be saying to myself, well, you say the drama for your mom, but look like he kind of like, like the drama, like he call it in, you know, and I'd be looking to say, I don't understand why you calling it in. Cause look like you to be, you should be letting it be, just let it stay out there in the waters. Uh, I see a lot of times how, uh, the divine, uh, this person he dealing with the divine Carmen. I see a lot of times, uh, how, uh, I see several things and I ain't really told him. One thing I see, I see how he be trying to work my man, you know, cause I see a lot of times how, uh, you know, she be kind of working him sexually, you know, kind of wooing him in and stuff like that. And, you know, he try to play it cool, like, you know, it ain't, you know, it ain't bothering him, but I can see how he, she kind of manipulating him in so many ways uh, that gets to him. Uh, but I've also uh, seen uh, also the, the the one, I'm a little nervous, sorry, uh, but I, I'm going to say it. But I've also have seen uh, her being with another dude, too. I've, I've seen that, too. This, this comes out from the cards. I've seen that, too. Interesting. She's very smart, too. She's almost as equally smart as him.
And that's how he kind of got, my man got caught up. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Okay. Can you give me some more insight about what's actually going on? Mm. Well, right now he's in the serious commitment, so he's in the, that. So that could be a marriage, okay? So your guy's in the marriage, whoever this friend is. So I'm talking, this is me talking. So he said his guy's in the marriage. So if your guy's in the marriage, this one is for you. This is the best friend talking about this. So each one of you all kind of semi know if they got one of these friends there that's acting like they friends. But on the line, you're like, you know what? When I got around him, I ain't never trusted him. This is the dude. So he understands also right now that, you know, he understands this man is in bad health, which he means uh, saying, I know he in bad health because I know mentally uh, she's wearing my man down. That's what he said. She's wearing my man down, you know. And sometimes, you know, I could tell that he wished that maybe that the Divine Feminine would come and uh, save him as well. Uh, I could tell also that he is expecting, like, source, uh, you know, to kind of help come in and help him to know uh, what he needs to actually do because he knows he needs to choose a new path, a path out of where he's at. Uh, so he can be able to have this transformation, which he's going to change. He is changing. Once he finds the path, he will change into this person that I said of self-love. Instead of being narcissistic, but being a person of self-love in a good way and being gentle uh, as well. You want to give me one more for the road on here? Give me two more. That's fine. looking for the universe to gift him with the present something in the present to be able to create this change okay thank you also knowing that um someone about the mother who's this mother figure this is a mother i felt that who's this mother what role is this mother bringing i'm on the energy card where's my energies What's going on with this mother? Clear. What's going on with this mother? Uh-uh. I know this mother says about walking away. Now I'm getting a fork in the road, not getting two ways. This mother is either telling them to walk away, telling the the his guy to walk away. This mature woman could be a mother, a mother-like figure. Could be a grandmother. Okay, it's telling them to walk away. Because you need to get into his bliss to be able to find. Now, this could be ancestral thing, a spirit, mother, or actually a mother figure is saying this too somebody mature some mature woman has spoken to this divine masculine and has told him he needs to walk away uh, okay can you tell me i mean what's the reason why he ain't did it then let me see if the energy says that why hasn't he did it oh you look i went there angel of balance Gotcha. The reason why he's not walking away, this one is because he's saying about something that happened in the past with this angel of balance. Okay, tell me something else. Oh, this came sideways too. And he wants this happy family. Now, this comes several ways because that's interesting. One sideways is something about that. Say that means something. Several things that's happening that this friend is telling me is saying that, again, because this angel of balance, he sees the divine feminine as a very balanced individual. And so something about that, the angel balance in the past happened that's stopping him from coming forward. Also, when I see this happy family, this thing, ideology about happy family, I'm instinctively channeling and feeling that this 
idea what makes a happy family since he's involved with this being married. Then I see the marriage card come out there. What happened to that? Uh, thing as well. I put it back in there. Shuffled it back in. Uh, marriage card as well is playing a part as to wherever he is. And so he's trying to create this family dynamic there. But at the same time, it's in several layers. He wants a happy family. Not knowing that he's not going to get a happy family there. And the friend is like, sure enough, he's not going to get a happy family there. Wow. So what's it going to take? Can you tell me maybe in these cards? Yeah, you, you talk very good. So rest and rejuvenation. That's another word for separation, ain't it? He needs to center himself. He needs to calm himself down. He needs to get into where he is. Because he said he has very great strength. And he's intelligent. And he's important. And that's why he's got to see the bottom line. And he's got to take some action. Okay. Uh, can I ask you... Uh... How do you see the karmic? I'm but your castle. Clear. So how do you see the how do you see the karmic? Madness that she's crazy. <laughs> She got some kind of rich. He says to him, it look like she's doing some kind of ritual. She does something over and over and over again that is like, it, it, it just don't make no sense. It's like maddening. It's something ritualistic. And that she needs to, re and she's releasing energy. Okay, so that could be, again, she's a manipulator. She does a lot of things. Again... She's not in the right mindset, according to him. I see that word. That came out before with her. What What is this again? Marinade. Number 19. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. Man, that's confirmation for me. About many of things. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I'm going to stop because I want to see this. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Are the female priestesses of the God. Dianc Dianc Nysus, oh, no, I'm not saying it right. Maddened by the fruits of the vine and given the space of ritual, they descend into a ritual ecstasy where an orgy of carnal delights, instability, frenzy, dance, and gluttony are allowed and celebrated. Stop. He sees her as a person who is maddened by the fruits of vine, like she's very materialistic. This is what the bestie says, best friend says. Uh, given the space of ritual, something she does over and over again that it, even he didn't see it like, dude, that's what she do. Mm -mm. That works my nerves. <laughs> it's like, I'm like a person like that. That works my nerves. That ain't good. That's maddening to him. Uh, again, she bought that sex. I already had said that earlier. He said that earlier about the sex thing. Uh, she got to say, he got my man by the cojones. She she got in there about the sex. Whatever it is, she be throwing it on him. So he can't see nothing past that. Whatever she throwing on him. Uh she's instability. She's in she's unstable. She's not stable at all. Frenzy dance. She's really she's just frenzied. The probably all over her nerves is all over the place. And um gluttony, like 
N it's never enough for her. Almost like Louis Van. Never too much, never too much, never too much. Do, do, do. It ain't never too much for her. He's never going to be able to satisfy her. Spiritually, mentally, physically, material wise. And when you got somebody like that, that's got they got like an open, because uh, they open soul, a black hole in their soul. Well, you know, what, what, whatever way that one. This, she's really in her distortion. She's distorted on the for real. This is a distorted, a distorted karmic here. This is not really acting divine uh, in your divinity yet. So she ain't woke. Yes, <laughs> the divine. So, ain't no stay woke. <laughs> but again, this came out for the comment before. She said, got anticipation and bright prospects and wish. What he's saying, when I look at her and she's talking about she got bright prospects, she said, yeah, for another victim. I said that he shouted that out real quick. He said, yeah, for another victim. I know what she got. Lord have mercy. <laughs> He said, I don't like her, but my man chose her, and because of his actions, I know this is how itself. He caused himself to be in that because he was not coming from a place of being his true self. Like I say, your enemies even know you. They didn't study you. Trust and believe. They don't sit up there in this one day. So what do you see in his actions this one day? He says with this, he say he just see his man just keeps on playing with it. Lord have mercy. Jesus, I wish I could just take a two by four sometimes. And say slap out. Uh oh. <laughs> what the hell? Say so he just masking his emotions and still being there. I don't say nothing, but I be saying to myself like, "Dude, <laughs> you ain't doing nothing but making it worse." So, let's get into some solutions according to him. What is some air? Uh, what's the shadow? Let me even ask that. What's the shadow that this divine masculine is dealing with? Clear. According to you, what you see. Damn. On the for real. That he masquerading. Well, we all say duh. Like he like. Mm, he said you he just don't know how many people around him already know what's actually going on, but we just watch him like play the fool. He said, we just watching. And we already know the gear. We already got the numbers. We already know what's truly going on. It don't take that much. Said it was a difference between how they was when they acted when they was at the beginning to how they are now. Said they used to hold hands. Now they ain't doing too much of anything like that. Some of us knew from the beginning. That wasn't a good match. And we just played along. Helping him sing the same old song. But we could tell he hurting. Some of us is silently rooting for him to kind of find his way out the crab barrel. Because even on the high level, what you call higher self of 50 or whatever it is, because we don't know about that right now, but we just know, you know, he's too smart for that. We really know his heart. He's too gentle. He ain't made for this, what he doing. Stuff that he doing right now, that stuff, I, I, I could do that in my sleep. 
Sometimes I had even wanted the Carmen for myself. But then once I started seeing how she was, I was like, damn, I don't want that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you didn't want that? No, I didn't want that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I didn't want that. I did. I did want it again. I'm like, oh, okay. But some within me, because you see, I say I'm a conscious. Some within me said, some ain't right about that girl. I just kept sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. She left little clues. Thank you, Ralphie. Man, can't be somebody blowing a horn outside. She left little clues. That's that's definite. She left little clues to this, to this bestie. His main man. That she left clues. I kept on looking and saying, uh-uh. And the more and more they together and the more and more time passes with them two together, the more and more it's revealing to all of us. He ain't doing nothing but fooling himself. You know. And, and we know him. And we know the shadow side to it. And we know him because, you know, when he get hurt, he going to want to have revenge. Because when they come out about this other man, although he don't want to want her, it ain't going to be pretty. It's just the simple fact of he done, he, my man feel like he done wasted some time. Especially when it comes to you. Like, I, I, I could have been, I could have been with her. And that's what's going to make him the most angry about. It ain't because of him finding out he up there messing with dude. It, it's it's going to be because of wasted time. Interesting. And down here, this looks like a clock. I'm channeling. I ain't even looking at it. I seen it. That was it. Because that's with her. She really had messed up the truth about what the situation about you and him was. And honestly, my man had slanted it himself. To be honest with you. He tried to make it work. He tried to fit it around. His way of thinking what he thought was the, the perfect wife the perfect family so that ain't my man's fault I met his family I know that they ain't too they ain't no good either too much they try it's not no fault of their own but their reasoning skills Cause like I say, I'm, I'm like the conscious. I'm a conscious man, and I'm able to see things. Although I feel like he's my competition, but I know. So, let me ask you, conscious man, the one with the mind that really knows things. What do you think that your old man's got to surrender? When I hear y'all feel lightheaded. Oh, God. When I tap into him. Okay. What do you... What do you think some life changes got to happen for this divine masculine about getting into this situation... Getting out of this situation? He said his man got to have some realizations and some epiphanies about this. About this whole situation. That it ain't gonna work and you can't keep on putting a square... Uh, 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 uh a square peg in a, in a round hole or whatever way it is. <laughs> you can't do that. He got to start even in the way he even, uh, this is what I'm saying. He pulled this out where he's communicating it verbally, non-verbally. He's got to stand his power. He's got to get his own identity and he's got to get into the heart space. He said some light changes. He's saying that he's like, I'm saying he's going to be moving. He's like, he's saying that, uh, either one thing, my man, if, he said, if my man finds courage, 
He can use that instead of him being revengeful. He can use that as a way to get out of the situation because that's how I would do it. You know, I would take that and use that as leverage. He said leverage very strong. He said, but if he don't, and he's trying to be the so-called honorable thing and try to leave on the right way, then she's going to end up kicking him out. He said, but no, I see my man. He's going to be moving. He's going to be leaving. He's going to be moving. He's going to get eliminated. Because the connection is not right and things are not manifesting there. And that heart there, he's like, that heart is not clean. The hearts there is just, it just ain't right. It just ain't right. Um, also, self employment, he's going to have to kind of look for work too, as well. Um, some of them, he's saying, you know, ain't going to have enough money. I'm uh, going to have to add for some extra money on top of that, too, when he get out of this situation. Uh, also feeling that uh, I'm feeling, he's sending this to me, he's like, this ain't got nothing to do with my boy, but he said, since you're doing it and I'm helping you out for the rest of the divine masculines, he's like, some of them, the divine uh, karmics or these karmics going to do something to mess them up on the job. So it could be it gets so worse on that he messed things up on them on the job or the job gonna boot them out. Something with that. He gonna get down low. Say some of them say it might be spirit say it's kinda time you got to leave that job and they're gonna kinda make that happen. And he said, Well things gotta change to him. He's like the man, he's like my man got to eliminate some things and he got to just welcome the new in. He's gotta let that go. That girl ain't no good for him. And he got to come to that realization. He got to have an epiphany. He got to have a dream. Who back here like my well of dreams is something. Down to my, something about right here. All the way down my spine. Hit a pain right there. Hmm. He, he got to get that together. Okay. Oh, it's my aunt. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, uncle, if you in here, this this ping me. You ain't got to give me the pain, though. He's going to go to that. Because most time you do come. But whatever, this person, somebody got right here. And right here is hurting. But I feel my uncle in here, too. Right here. So what things you got to surrender? Clear. Now I'm like, I don't think he can yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Stay in here then. Thank you. Lend lend your voice then. Okay. Surrender to inner peace. So cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. This is what he said. He got to find some inner peace. That's why he told him earlier he needed to rest and rejuvenate. Where's that card? Did I take that out of here? Nope, I didn't. This is what he said. He's got to find peace right there. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. He want him to become more centered. He's like, I know it's kind of hard with her around that you can't be able to actually do that, but he wants him to do that. He's like, yeah, you do some meditation. You know, like your girl do. Ain't nothing wrong with that because you need to kind of like get your head right. Because with that madness running around, with that chick that you got there, the so-called wife or your other half, an old lady or whatever you want to call it, she bring a lot of madness and a lot of chaos. And in that, you got to censor yourself to really be able to find the solutions in that. There's a lot of masculines in this room. I'm feeling self-love between uncle, dad, I smell too in him and the angels this one he all right i mean i don't i didn't get no thing about him this person in here his essence um wow mm. 
what has to be about is the divinity here. What what way does he have to move in order to be divine, like really be his true self? Clear. Okay, well, welcome to be here just for backup. He said that he's got to be able to make way, uh, peace with his light and shadow. He's got to be open. He's got to take some action. He done told him this before. This one, this card moved on his own off the deck. <laughs> it's like, ah, there's all the maskers up in here say he got to take some action. He got to put that pimp hand down. He better put that hammer down and tell him what day it is or what time it is, he said. You got to put on, you got to get action, you got to climb that thing. And you got to start being more protective of who you are. He said, because you gentle. Yeah, you just, that ain't what she trying to make you to do and be dude. That ain't you. Oh, what are some areas that he need to, I know that was what he said. I know. Ha, I thought you got me. Say he got to work on his pride. This is ego. Thank you. Number 19 again. Bump that. She in the ego stuff. That ain't who you are. He already said that. You gentle. A person who's got like a gentle being and having self-love. Pride is out the window. The only way that you do have pride about yourself is you having this, that love and pride about what you're doing, how you're expressing love to yourself, what things you're doing. You have pride in your accomplishments. But pride to stop you from being able, this orange is right here, your sacral being able to connect with others, being able to um, manifest things. They saying it's not happening because you can't even get the downloads because of the pride because this is the colors that's behind there. Nineteen. This is the second time nineteen and jumped off on here again. This is it end starting back getting ready to start back at one. Use your intuition, and your awareness to end the cycle, so you can be able to together ten start back again back at one. This nine means also giving birth. Ten could also mean ending the cycle and then getting ready to start back at one. It depends. Everybody got numerology, all differences about what these numbers are. But it still ends up to be a what? It's got to end. <laughs> and you got to start all over again. And you got to leave this pride off. You, me and dude, he more cool about it. I'm more getting, you know, you know how I am. I'm in auntie mode and I get mad. <laughs> like the Aries fire come out. What the hell is this? Where you see this connection going to? Then get specific. That he's actually going to offer his cup to his divine feminine. Thank you. And he's going to actually be able to hand, uh, offer her the world. Well, thank you. That's that's very thing. Well, what's the strategy he's going to have to use to have that, ha have that happen, according to you? And I said, no, I'm, I'm eventually, I see my man going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. I know him. If he can be able to kind of quiet things down and really get to thinking, he, my man going to find his way out of this. Okay. Because, again, like I told you before, they see she going to either he going to move or she going to kick him out and he going to move on his own. It's one and two, but there's going to be some moving. He said, trust and believe. It's going to be some moving. This is a lot of strategy here. Okay, so what's the plan to you? So to him, he said he's got to get his emotions into believing that he can have everything under the sun. This great tower has got to happen, according to his bestie. Because that's going to help to transform him. Because he said he's been working around trying to be a squirrel. Trying to get a nut around here. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> he said lightning strikes. So spirit got to come here and intervene and make this happen. Because my dude ain't moving. Thank you, Ralphie and Michael. You own it. He's got to strategize here. He got to go ahead and take the clothes off his back. He got to get to going here. Let them... them, them Thoughts there, whatever the magic. This is like crow's magic. Let it guide him to be able to do that too as well. 
So he could be able to be with his empress. This one is embodies the new world to really have the true family that he's looking for. All right. Give me some lasting things because we had these people here and I know you tired. You a man too, so I know you tired of me talking to you. <laughs> I know you tired of talking to me because the other dudes that came in here, dad and uncle this time, he done stepped on in here. I had him in a long time, so he coming in here. Everybody coming here, granddad too. Clearing the angels, because I can feel it. it's a little heavy in here. I, mean, I can't see them, but I do feel them. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I feel um, four energies in here, because I'm clear sentience. <laughs> I feel four energies up in, up in this room. I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in my shundu. <laughs> That's in here. Okie dokie. All right, then. Oh, snap. <laughs> Best, Bestie said, interrupting is for assholes. Let them fucking finish. Be like, this chick here gonna forever be crazy as hell. It ain't for you to finish this out. You keep on trying to stay in there like you're trying to save them. Then her dad gonna figure it out. You don't interrupt. He's, I'm using his words. That's not me. I'm sorry if you don't like that. He's like, you don't interrupt assholes because assholes are going to always be that. Now, that's his language. That's not mine. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. I, I sprinkle it every now and then. So he's like, let them, let them handle this situation. Get out and save yourself. You are too gentle. To me, he's saying in some ways, you're too fragile. I know you. You're smart as hell. You got great strength. Your your intellect is like like none I've seen before. Heck, to be in some ways you're even smarter than me. But see, the difference is I got a conscience, see, and I'm street smart. See, and that street smart make up for that book smart that you got. See, but it's different. And that's how I'm able to know the difference because, see, me being out there in the world like that, I learn how to study people. I know people's behavior. That's why I said when it came, she came on the scene, it didn't take me that long for me to notice that there's something wrong with chick. Something was not on the up and up. I had to sit there. I had to study her. And then it came to me. Ah, that chick crazy as hell. <laughs> ah, she crazy as hell. I picked that up a long time ago. Now, this is me talking. He's out. This me and me fan channeling that. I picked that up a long time ago when I first started doing these comics thing. I told you she's grinning like the Chester cat. <laughs> uh -uh. This chick crazy. So this is why he's like, again, your divine master is walking like eggshells around him. Sometimes he pushes you off. I can see him pushing you off the pier when she's walking. He's like, hey, what's happening? Like, Dang. He's like, I'm trying to save you, actually, because she crazy as hell. She ain't right. Let us pray for them. <laughs> she's like, uh-uh. That madness. He's like, yeah. See, but the thing is, once upon a time, the divine master was in that energy. And they resonated like that. That getting me for minds, that gluttony they was talking about, that Maynard or whatever it's called, them sea creatures or whatever it was, uh, he got a release. They were in that kind of consciousness. And so that's why they had matched up. I want it all. I want it now. That materialism, all that extra stuff, the sex, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll, all that stuff they wanted. Got my heart shocked and going. This man, his bestie, say he's peeped this. He's seen it all and said, you know, even with my street smart here, you ain't built for this. You're too smart for this, and you need to get out. Wow. For whoever this is reached and, and you watch this, I thank you. I want to say thank you as I close out because I had you here for an hour, and I know that's a long time for a master energies to be holding a conversation. No, no, I enjoy talking to you. Okay. So, um... I thank you because you gave a lot of great insight on the divine masculine, uh, what he's not saying. Uh, it helps us as divine feminists to be able to really get more of an understanding uh, 
with him uh, as well. And it helps us to know what we need to kind of semi-pray for uh, as well on their behalfs and ourselves while we're in this situation. And it has some more empathy as well. So I really truly thank you for the spirit that came in and stepped in and let me tap into him, his best friend. Uh, I really thank you uh, for, for that moment uh, at this moment in this magical moment in time that you allowed me to tap into you. So uh, again, I want to say almost like the, 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 the ancestors Ashe thank you uh on that uh also for you all if you want to have uh my love letters uh as well i've gotten great reviews on my love letters as well uh those of you all you know you get a letter from your divine unisoul this is really good this is from the, the friend the bestie giving his point of view but you could also as blatant as they're talking here this is as, as honest and raw this is the same way that they act when I get um, when I get the uh, the love letters, I just want to read uh, just a couple of responses of reviews. I put that in the uh, my community tab, but sometimes you all don't get that. Um, uh, that's one here. What's the one I just did here? There they go. Did they want stop? I just got that. Here we go. So I'll just read three of them. It says, this reading was amazing. I'm still dizzy from it. It was on the money. I damn near fainted when Divine Unisouls went through the cards and channel. She was on it so tight. It was like bee to honey. Ooh, we amazing. I had another one. She said, thank you so much for the beautiful love letter reading. It really brings a sense of clarity and knowing in my heart. I feel the peace now. Love was there all along. I knew we had past lives together. And this also confirms in time we will come together and help each other heal our souls. And the last feedback I got was I purchased the love letter. It was amazing. I cried the whole time. She hit on a lot of things that has happened. She told me that he was going to contact me. He did the next day. He called me. I couldn't believe it. I was so thrilled and happy. Thank you so much for the love reading. You see that? Even talking to me, I make them call. <laughs> but that, that's not me. That's source of spirit. All I do is tap into it. That, I, and also, this is all I do. All I need is your name. So some of you all, let me even put this disclaimer before I get, before I get off of here. Uh, all I need is your name. So if you talk about your, because like with me on my PayPal class account, it says Twin Soul 11. Okay, I don't know it, who I'm reading for. All I need is a name. First name, last name. Really just first name. That's it. And I can take it from there. You know, give me that. But if you know your uh, email is uh, uh, a company name, I'm not going to know who you are. Okay, source does, but it helps me feel comfortable. I done did it a couple because I had about three of them. They just gave me company names, and I still went on. That's one of the persons in the reviews. I can go on because source knows you. But I don't need, I'm not one of those readers, and I had to have like a little fight go back and forth. It was nice between a uh, person who had got a letter. They was like, well, I can't give no name or nothing. And I was like, I don't need that. Source knows you. I don't ask for names. I don't ask for birthdays. I don't ask for none of that stuff. When I all I ask for is your name, that's it, and source takes it from there. So again, uh, and from all those reviews, I thank you so very much for those who have gotten letters and things, uh, uh, have gotten letters from me and readings and also uh, other things, my Insta readings as well. So after this, I'm going to go right on into it. Put something on my nose. Okay, stop it, y'all. That's with me now. Uh, to uh, go, I'm going to run the. the um, won't run the commercial afterwards so you can see what it is and go to divine union souls 11.co you can get it just for 14 dollars as well jump on in there right now i got a kind of like an opening but they're coming daily every day i'm getting some in so it's not a day i just sit there i don't get any every day i'm getting letters in so if you want it so far my turnaround has been pretty quick it's like 24 hours if you get it in before 5 p.m central time most of the time i'm cranking them out but after 5 p.m central time you get knocked to the next following day uh with that because i had to power down and kind of reset myself again because i got a lot of energies that's coming through me 
uh, to be able to do that. So uh, until next time. All right, then. Let me stop talking. Until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Now I'm going to stay. Now I'm going to go. Love you.